This HP laptop backlight stopped working. And the easiest thing that you can see, if you'll see the desk, the uh, icons are very dim. You can even, you can even use a flashlight, and you can see the you know, stuff. The easiest way to determine whether it's two problems here it could be three. It could be a cable that runs right here. Could be the inverter board, which is underneath this piece here, or it could be the bulb in your screen. If it's the cable, if you move the screen back and forth and it comes on and it comes off, that would be a cable problem. To determine whether it's the board, the inverter board, some people might call it the ballast board. Cause that's what it's, it's just like a fluorescent lamp you see in the ceiling. This board here is fairly cheap on eBay. So you can go ahead and buy this board and say, alright, two dollars versus the price of this new screen would be forty five dollars. So you take a chance with spending two bucks and taking your own time to do it. This here pops out so easy. I mean, it's it's. I've already popped it out and tried it out, but it pops out, and then you just bend your screen back like that. Don't break your hinge, and you can get the this lip here. And you can bend it up and get the old board out. All you have to do is disconnect the cable here and disconnect the cable there. Now I already tested this and made sure that it has. The backlight work, and I do have a tester that I can check that out. But for a home user, replacing the the inverter board would be somewhat cheaper than paying somebody to replace your whole screen with a new LED display and with the LED light. So. Hopefully you'll be able to replace your own inverter board by yourself and save yourself some money. Now I'm going to put this inverter board in and then I'm going to plug these two connectors in first. Actually I'll plug in that one and get it in and I'll get that one in. Now after you got your board installed back in Just see a display. And there you have it. For two bucks, this board fixed this computer. Hopefully, this takes care of your problem. Subscribe, leave me a comment if it does. Thanks for watching.